What's up guys, I'm hanging out here in the Get'em Performance booth with Trevor Wiggins, owner of Get'em Performance. The slogan here, the tags are always hashtag more horsepower, hashtag more consistency. Uh, can you speak any further to what makes the Get'em carb, specifically consistency, what makes it more consistent than other options out there? You know, it kind of goes back to that precision. We just really focus on... You know, and, and I've got some great engine builders that are out there that we're, we're on a dyno all the time. And, and it's not that, that at, at, at some of these bigger companies, I mean, they're doing three or 400 carburetors a day. You know, we focus on that racer, and it's, it's each individual carburetor is custom built for that racer. And it, and it is, isn't really that we, we are, oh, we're going to design this or we're going to build this. It's that we've got large databases of saying, okay, I know this, this carburetor, this ran good on this, and we'll start doing this on the dyno, and, and this engine builder is doing it this way. So we'll start looking through. And if, if anybody knows there are any of my carburetors or anything, we ask for a whole lot of information before we even start building. We, we don't just say, yeah, this will fit your application. Go, go have fun with that. It's really a detailed sheet that we want to know going, okay, what's a cam spec? What, what gets right. into making these actually work? What's the weight of the car? What's converter? What, what does it stall at? So we're really looking for a lot of details that helps them get us closer into that arena to where we don't necessarily have to change a jet. And that, that's great transition into my next question, which is kind of how does the process start? How does the process look if someone's interested in getting themselves into a get em carb? Uh, does it start on the website? Does it start with a phone call? I know there's, like you said, there's a lot of questions, a lot of information that you got to get. What's the best way? What's the best first step for people? You know, and it really does start. A phone call is real simple. A text message a lot of times. I, I live in a track or I live on a dyno or I live on a machine. So a lot of times a text message is easy. Call, go to our website. And, and basically all these ways, we're going to get you, basically you fill out a basic sheet. And then we start going down that sheet. And then you and I will start talking back and forth about what's best. Mm -hmm. we, we get into different fuels today. We get into different things that are coming. We didn't get into, okay, what are we, what are we actually trying to do? Are, do we have a 3,500-pound, 3, 3,400-pound car? Do we have an 1,800-pound Draxer? Do we, are, are we trying to run, you know? And if, if you, I don't know if you can see in the back. And then we got one over here that's got three carburetors on a 1471 high helix, you know. That, that's really, but that's on an all-out run. So it really really goes back to you call, text, you call, and we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get what's best for that avenue. In my experience, the level of customer service that you provide for your customers is just simply unparalleled. It's like nothing that I've ever seen before. I mean, you're a busy guy, and like you said, you're either behind the wheel of a CNC machine or you're maybe on an airplane going to a racetrack to help your customers. Your customer service is outstanding. How much time do you spend on the road? A lot, a lot. Go, going back to that original mentor that I mentioned earlier, we, he, he talks about, and, and I really do live this way, he talks about uh, he, he wanted all the pro stock teams to run his part. So he would go to all the engine builders, he'd go to all the races, and eventually he could check that box off of all the pro stock guys running his, his parts. And then he, he, he talks about then going, I wanted all the dirt tracker, then I wanted all the, the NASCAR teams to run all my stuff. And, and it really is kind of that. I mean, we, we live, eat, sleep, drink racing. We, we are at a racetrack. I, I can probably only name two, two or three weekends just out of 2021 that I wasn't at a racetrack on a weekend. And, I, and I'm sure if I wasn't at a racetrack, I was at a shop or I was at, at my shop building carburetors. Sure. So, I, so as far as customer service, it, this is what we do. I mean, I, you know, I, I try to think about how would I want somebody to treat me or how would I want to go race or if, if I can go race, how can he help me get my car more consistent? The, the whole goal is we're going in to win races. We really are. We're going in to win races. We do not walk in there going, you know, I just hope I go a couple rounds. I don't even think that way. I, I go, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to go take home some money. One thing, it's a hot topic, a lot of questions on the channel. I want to talk a little bit about gas versus methanol. I know you guys offer both gas and methanol carburetors. Uh, what fuel is right for what person, what application? Can you speak to the gas versus methanol questions a little bit here? Yeah, you bet. You know, you know a lot of, lot of, a lot of the older pro stock guys, they'll go, you know, alcohol is only for drinking. <laughs> it's just pure drinking. Do not put alcohol in, a, in, a, in one, of our, one of our motors. 
but you, you really do get into the bracket racing that has really brought alcohol a lot of actually to the forefront because people like to round rob and people like to double in or people like to to run multiple races all the yeah, time it's so much cooler and, yeah and it helps cool the motor as and it, it is a different variation it's a it's a water style product mm -hmm. so humidity a lot of times won't impact the movement quite as much but there's a lot of motors out there that gasoline. A lot of times it takes double the amount of alcohol going into a cylinder to combust versus when you get in the gasoline side of it, you, you know it, it's going to run. So you start talking compression ratio, you start talking cam, you start talking weight of car, you start talking all these different things that really do impact how, what kind of racing are we going to do and how are we going to do this. So really it comes down to the, the formula of going alcohol. A lot, of, a, a lot of engine builders don't necessarily want to run alcohol. A lot of guys come back and say, oh, you know, a motor will make more horsepower than alcohol. That's not necessarily ever true, or sometimes it could be true if that motor is not as efficient and needs more compression, so I have to put more alcohol in it to, get, to raise the compression. So it really depends on each individual application that you're trying to put in, in place. So usually I tell everybody, hey, let's talk about alcohol, and let's talk about gasoline, and let's try and put... Just find out what's best for you. So perfect. So you guys, helps, yeah, no, you guys are here to help. With uh, you know, you call up Trevor at Get Em. That customer service is going to engage. He's going to get you the answers that you want to hear as far as gas versus methanol and everything else carburetor related. So, Trevor, what's next for Get Em Performance? Oh, we've got a lot of stuff coming down the road. You know, and if you look, we, we've added fuel logs this year, started machining fuel logs. We, we started, we put a fuel gauge. One thing, and, and, and everybody kind of jokes about, why would you go back to an old mechanical gauge? And it really does go back to the customer service side of it, going, when you call, I'm going to ask, basically, if, if it needs help idling, or if it needs help launching. I'm going to, first thing I'm usually going to ask is, what's fuel pressure? Let's see what the fuel pressure is, because sometimes we're dependent on, on the different telemetry to tell us what it is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I'm like, just put a gauge in. So as far as next, it's just to keep adding on top of products that we're doing that help complement our stuff. So I, it's going to keep growing, and, and we've got a lot of things in place for next year. We've got a lot of things moving around. We've got a lot of products that are coming in. So I, I think it's going to be a great 2022 no matter what. Awesome. Now, thanks so much, Trevor, for taking the time to sit down with me. I know you're a busy guy, especially in an environment like PRI. Uh, you sat down here, took the time. I appreciate that. Obviously, you guys can be found all over social media. These links will be down in the description, but where is the absolute best place that people should find Get Em? Where should they go? You know, go to our website. You know, PM me on Facebook. You know, and, 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 and I got to say thanks to you, Tom. I mean, you've got a great group of racers. You know, you talk about Mitchell McKinney. You talk about, you, you know, what you do. You start talking about, oh, your Dale Skates. Again, you've got some of the best guys out there. And I, and, and I enjoy you guys. I do. I enjoy watching you guys go rounds every time. And we have a big screen up at our shop. And I, I promise you, every time there's a bracket race on, Nine times out of ten, I'm watching to see if I'm not at that race. We're, we're watching to see who goes rounds, who's not going rounds, what happened. A lot of times we'll call, going, "Hey, what happened? Mm -hmm. what, what? What? Did you miss a tree? Did it? Did it hesitate? Did it do all these things?" Going because we want to know. I mean, it, it happens to all of us. So it's like, all right, but we're watching. So you know, call. Uh, my, my wife's heavily involved in the business. My kids are heavily involved in the business. A lot of times my kids will answer the phone. So it's, it's, if they're there on Sunday night, a lot of times somebody's going to still answer that phone as much as possible. So, and I, and I, like you said earlier, I do miss some things here and there. But gosh dang, it's not that I would keep calling. It's not. We're just busy. We're running pretty hard as we can. So, You guys, links down in the description to Get Em's website. Of course, follow them on Facebook at Get em Performance. Also linked down in the description. Trevor, thank you so much for taking the time. Nah, thank you, brother. I appreciate, I appreciate what you do for us.